Hi, I'm Raymond Lee. And I'm Katie Hall, and this is LA Art. LA mansions are one thing, but castle life requires a lot of worldly treasure. Lady Fiona Caravan's family has lived for more than 300 years at High Clare Castle, the beautiful English countryside estate that has set the stage for the hit PBS series, Downton Abbey. The Countess recalls the generations of families that have lived in High Clare Castle, which she also details in her new book about her ancestor, the fifth Countess of Carnarvon, Lady Almina and the real Downton Abbey. My name is Fiona Carnarvon, but I'm also the Countess of Carnarvon, and I live at High Clare Castle, which is better known to many people as Downton Abbey. High Clare Castle has two or three hundred rooms, and it has 50 to 80 bedrooms, and it sits in a thousand acres of parkland, which is completely beautiful, and then a further 5,000 acres of farmland and woodland around that. So it's a wonderful breathing space in southern England. Lady Almina was an extraordinary woman who in 1895, at the age of 19, came to marry the fifth Earl of Carnarvon, my husband's great-grandfather, who lived at Highclere. And whilst he was not exactly impoverished, he nevertheless wanted to marry an heiress because he was a little bit in debt. He um, fixed upon Almina, the illegitimate daughter of Alfred de Rothschild, one of the wealthiest families in Europe at the turn of the 19th to 20th century. She decided she utterly adored him and he thought he loved her or might love her. I'm not quite sure at the time. Her dowry was the main thing. It was £500,000 which is some 30 million pounds today, a phenomenal amount of money, and it was in a wonderful thing called cash. Lord Carnarvon wasn't going to marry without money, if you put it like that. There's a line from Jane Austen which says, whilst you should never marry for money, it might be foolish to marry without money, and I think that was Lord Carnarvon's attitude. <laughs> The staff in Amina's time was much bigger than on Downton Abbey because there was a house steward because Highclere was one of the grandest houses followed by a butler, followed by an under-butler, followed by about 14 footmen, a hall boy, a steward room boy, maids, cooks, still room maids, 25 gardeners. Then there were various departments, a maintenance team, um, um, a wood, woodsman team because we had our own sawmill there. Um, farmers, a farming team department. I quite like the scenes which are not shot at Highclere because they're fresh and fun and I haven't seen them being reshot several times over. But I, I think what it is is there's so many different characters, aren't there? There's, you know, whether people are interested in the Bates story or um, the O'Brien and Thomas story or, you know, Cora and Lord Grantham. I always forget whether Hugh Bonneville and Elizabeth McGovern, I always get the real names and the <laughs> Downton Abbey names muddled up, or whether you are following one of the sisters. I think there's many different stories to many different people. But I think my favourite character is the castle. To see more of High Clare Castle and the rest of the characters of Downton Abbey, as well as all the other wonderful Masterpiece programmes, tune in here on PBS SoCal every Sunday at 9.